Beard Bros. Saturday. What's How's up, everybody doing? That frog is also a butterfly. Um, <laughs> before we start, my girlfriend drew a picture of a frog in a car. Oh my god, it's so good. And it, it was so good. That Here you it is. You can actually buy... A print. You can, you can buy a, like, satch bag. Like a little satchel bag. What? Yeah, on, on uh, a Red satch Bubble. A bag? Yeah. Oh, you mean like a tote? Yeah. Not like our friend's satch bag. No, you can buy a satchel. Yeah, okay, got you it. You can buy a satchel. Cool. Yeah, right. buy that. Just look. You don't have to buy it. I just think it's hilarious. Just check out the pic. But, it's up right now in your face. Oh, oh. speaking of, oh man, I haven't so played So we're on our way, we're on our way to Club Titty Boo. Uh, we just learned Psy Powers from the, uh, from the Magipsy. So that's what's, that's what's our, that's what our situation is right now. Yep. Flying rat. Wait, is this guy good or bad? He's not the greatest. Okay. So once we get to the station, yeah. Apparently, the thing that's going to be bad is that there's going to be these things called cattle snakes that we need to watch out for. I'll tell you if there's any secrets. You just keep running. I will run. Uh, the the only secret that I can see right now is that a when you mutt shroom, mushroom, dude. It's a dog. It's a dog shroom. It's the Last of Us, dude. I'm trying to find the beat. It was. It's like one of those messed up, like, you know, like pork army experiments that where they took the rambling mushroom and gotcha. mixed it with a stray dog. It's pretty messed up. Mushroom. Dog mushroom. Simple. Dude, he is like kicking your booty. Uh just that last hit. He was doing pretty bad the other shit. He has two hundred and forty eight HP. He's um, a big dude. Yeah. Apparently just go straight. You're fine. Fighting dudes on the way. Just Rambling mushroom. <laughs> oh, dead. Those guys aren't super scary. No, they're not. Um, We're good. So you're gonna come through like a clearing, and it's gonna be like light out again. Okay. And then you're gonna run into a bridge. Uh oh, doggy again. Ugh. Ugh. Keep messing up these hits. Oh no! Oh. This is... These guys are like not screwing oh, no. around. That's the thing, it's like, it always feels so dangerous in Earthbound and in this game that like, you just like, you gotta be careful when you're yeah. out because you just like, could get screwed. Absolutely. How much healing stuff do we even have? Um, well now we have Psy. Oh, well, maybe we should eat some stuff, though, because you have a full inventory. Yeah, but it could just, it could just heal, though. No, no, don't waste your, don't waste your... You don't think I yeah. should? Look at all this stuff. Look at all this mushrooms. Alright. Yeah, this is... This is solid. And the hot spring egg becomes like a chicken or something, right? How do we- how does that happen? Do we figure that out? Uh, eventually it's just for us having it. I thought it becomes a chicken. Or if we go into a hot spring. Something like that. No problem here. What does the sign say? Please don't write graffiti on signs. Like hot dog or dog food. So weird. <laughs> The really flying mouse. If you're hearing Gerard whisper the beat in the background, it's because he's trying to get the uh, the chain going. I think we're doing pretty good. 
Da, 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 that level up. Da, 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 that level up. Ah, I was hoping for it. Oh no, Ooh, we're on the train. You got the back. I thought you got the back hit. Uh, on the other side of this red bridge that you're about to cross, there's a sprinting bomb. Bam. Dunzo onezo, baby. So cross the bridge? Yeah, cross the bridge. Oh, this bridge. I'm afraid I'm gonna get clocked. I don't think you are. And then there's a sprinting bomb right there. Bam, sprinting bomb. Thanks to the fangamer guide, handbook.fangamer.com. Slash handbook? Yeah, check it out. Oh, whoa. This guy is the reconstructed mole. He's got 165 HP. But they got kind of a lot of offense, so be careful. God, I can't wait till we get, like, somebody that we can check out all the rhythms with. Yeah. What is this? I think that's the mole. Again. Dunzo! Alex, our question of the week, man. Or What's day, our question rather. of the day? Yeah. I don't know, nothing's happened yet. What's the longest dungeon you've ever been in? Something we haven't done. That's good. Yeah, be careful of those cattle snakes. That's a cattle snake? Yeah, it's like a mix with it's like a rattlesnake, but it's a cow. Oh my god. Yeah, don't That is ugly. These guys are fine. These guys they like call their friends, but they're like no big deal. That's gonna be a bread roll. In that chest. Squawking stick? It's like a walking stick that's a bird. Oh, Christ. Yeah. What do we do? Sigh. What does sniffing do? I don't know. Spores. Nice. Kill everyone. Nice. Later, man. Nice. Later, man. Well, I knew you'd be a problem. What does Sniff do? Oh. Oh, it's weak against crying and fire. Wow. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? I don't know. Feeling funky? Oh no. Dude, that was a tough battle. Oh, my controls are backwards. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh. Okay, it was just temporary, it looks like. Okay. You should heal up. Absolutely. Squawking sticks make it a tight squeeze. They can also use life up, so come out swinging with your special PK attack. The item guy from Tazmilly is here. He has all the items you gave him to hold. There's a magic butterfly by this backhoe coming up if you go north from the station. If you go around to the front of the station, there's flea powder. Oh, well, there's Butch. Ow. Roasted. If you go like down and around, there's a chest over there with flea powder. I don't know if you can get it from there. Oh Ooh. no! So, so I should use it right when the start from the fight starts. Just kill it. The thing has uh 160 HP. Damn. Damn. Wow. Later, man. That was like, but the, see, that was like a. That was a fluke in terms of putting, uh, pulling off. I get that, but that was tight. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. All right, we got it. What does the sign say? Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart, Reverend Tiffany's Audrey Hepburn, Plan 9 from Outer <laughs> Space, some nuts. 
why those movies were listed there? I don't know. I don't know. Do I like all those movies? Yeah. Yeah. Where do we go? North. So, like, yeah. Oh. Jeez, this is, like, brutal. What do you suppose is, like, the the message, like, the theme behind all these, like, Ugh. like grotesque creations? You think it's just, like, uh, like, about, like, bastardization of nature kind of thing? Or what? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I, I really don't know that much about what happens in the story. I have my suspicions. But that's the du, best du, I can du, tell du, you. Du, 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 du. Yeah, I really don't know. Alright, so if you go through here, you run into Club Titty Boo. I'm gonna do a little quick save. But I don't... I don't know what the hell. It doesn't, like, tell you to go into Club Titty Boo. There's, like, other stuff to do. Well, let's do that stuff. I don't mind. Huh. Eye drops, yeah. There's a save point in front of the club. Yeah, I already saved it, but... To the left? I don't know what all these, these symbols mean. Where's the key? Where's my key at? Where's my key at? I don't see anything about the key. Should we just go in the club? There should, it says there's something on the other side of the entrance. The eye drops? On the other side of the entrance, and then, like, r on the left side of the back, there's a blue plus. I don't know what that is. I don't get that. Maybe it's inside the factory complex? Maybe. Oh. Should Th we go this, I think you can just walk into the building. But check on the other side of the entrance. Is there anything there? No. What is that? Yeah, no, there's a pink thing. Vending, Vending machine. machine. Oh. Drinks. Hmm. So you can buy, like, health and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Isaac. Are you here at the factory for something? I feel like working. I'm sure they'll hire you. Hey, you suspicious fellow. What are you doing here? What's that? You want to go to Club Tidaboo? It's a special place for workers here to go and relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not people who don't work here. If they have to go, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Then make things easy. Jobs to transport claimant. First, go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder there. Go down. Find a bunch of claim in the area below. Some of them will be almost that energy, so you gotta bring them back up here. Bring them up one at a time. After you brought them three up, you're done. Just be safe. I'll give you the sketch of how the factory is laid out. I feel like I'm missing a page. Oh, and sign your name on this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of the person in the background. The person pulling the strings, I guess you could say. What I meant to say is the player's name. It's needed for verification purposes. It's nothing too important. You know how it is. Yeah. Gerard and Alex Cha-Ching. That's us. That's that is us. us. That's us. <laughs> Great, Gerard and Alex Cha-Ching. Is that your correct name? Yes. Gerard and Alex Cha-Ching. All right, got it. Auditor records. Now listen. Don't do anything bad. It'll only, in it only inconvenience Gerard and Alex Cha-Ching. So don't forget that. All right then. Work hard. What? Hold on, dog. 
Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go on ahead and do what the boss says. What? No! You can't take my dog! What the hell? The claiming low energy is very weak, so you know which ones are, uh, they are right away. Alright, hop to it. Oh my gosh. Everyone's working down below. They're digging up Clayman to make it out. This is creepy. This is... When we zap Clayman low, en low energy, they start moving again. The machines almost seem to invite you to use them, but you can't touch them. People can't touch them unless they get zapped something fierce. I've never touched them, of course, but I really want to. Ignore the urges, ignore the urges. What the hell? Oh! Hey there, Lucas. Did you come to see me? Oh, you didn't. I see. How's Flint? Same as always. I see. Oh, poor Boney. It's a nice to exercise once in a while. Dude, that's torture. Talk to the pig and the dog. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Weird. I feel like the pig was running just to keep me alive. Talk to him? You're fully revitalized. Oink oink. Oink oink. Is that dog shit? Wow, wow. The new guy's with a dark fur is so annoying. It's like, just shut up and work, will ya? <laughs> a little dark. Okay, so what's your job? To go get clay men and restore them. Moon. So you gotta find a tired one? Yeah. Moon. No. E.T. Moon home? Moon. God damn. There he is. Moon. How annoying. You just gotta push him all the way back. Oh my gosh. Go faster, Clayman. Michael Clayman. Do you have to do that more than once? Three times. Oh, damn it. No, go up the way. Where do I take him to? The Just, elevator. Ugh. No, stop it. What are they digging for, though? Who knows, man? Probably like... Some animal mixed with some... Leave. Leave me alone. I'm trying to save your brethren. Okay, so you just put him in the elevator. Alright. Oh, he kicked him on! I don't like this. this I don't is, like this situation. This is scary. Oh, and I'm going up too. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Great, now where the hell do I take him? Is there like a... Push him to Bud and Lou. To Butter Lou. Bud and Lou. Butter Lou. It's not Butter Lou. <laughs> there you go, good work, Lucas! Meow, womp. This oh, is God. weird, man. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, he Home. seems happy enough. Alright. I guess we saved him. This game is creepy, man. What was the What <coughs> was that theme? <laughs> du, 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 du. You did it. I this think. is like really boring. There he is. Oh, that's an easy one. Thank God. Mr. I just put you here. That's all I gotta do. It's annoying that I have to wait for him to pull the elevator down. So, I think that just what this game is trying to show is that, like, a society advances, the more meaningless life gets. Kind of thing. Okay, I could see that. Like, this is very anti, like, any sort of capitalism, anti any sort of, like, Unnatural societal. I feel, I feel like we're putting down like a dead dog. This like dog's like almost dead. I mean, he looks messed up and he looks real happy when he comes out. So I'm not like super. I don't feel like terrible One about more it. To go. All right. Well, 
Let's call it after we get this last one to see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Oh, of he's course. back and he's all happy sure. now. Can you? Whoa! Get out of my way, guy. What? Guy needs to get out of my way so I can move. Oh my God! Get, get off the ramp. Get, get. Leave. Hurry before he gets back on the ramp. He's shoveling. He's shoveling. There he is. I didn't. I already get this guy. Who cares? Just push him back. Same up there. guy again. No, I think that the other guy was one screen farther. Was he? Yeah, I think so. This is just the worst. Yeah, dog. I mean, it's no Kaizo, but still. No, it's not Kaizo. This is just like, I think this is this is cool. Like, this is the stuff that I like about like the fact that like Shigesada Itoi made this game. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's thinking outside the box. He's trying to show you how boring this job is, and and how creepy it, and like the fact that you have to push him. And all this stuff, it just makes you feel weird. Like it's like unsettling and I just feel like we're like at some type of like concentration camp, you yeah, know. It's, it's like weird. some evil. Yeah, like I think that's I think that's kinda what it's supposed to be. Like I think it's kinda supposed to be that feeling. I, I get the vibe that we're just we are making things worse. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I it it just feels bad to help the bad guy. It feels bad to help who is clearly the bad guy. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. No. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Go in the door. Like, oh. you, like it's just boring. Good work. It's enough for today. Don't forget your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. Yay. By the way, that's the guy at the entrance. You finished your part-time job. What a horrible chime. Horrible, horrible chime. Okay. Oh, good job today. Here's your reward for hard day work. I got a ticket. And here's your pay for today. Receive 200... Oh, cool. 200 points. Sweet. Work every day and you can even make more money. Work a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young, after all. Great. It's gotten really late. Go relax at Club Tidaboo and have a good time. Good job today. Alright, well let's call it here. Yeah, talk to the friend. Next next time on uh on Beard Bros, we're going to Club Tidaboo. Tidaboo. It's titty time. It's titty, titty time. Titty boo time. It's turbo time. Turbo time. Ta ta, turtle man. Later, man. <laughs>